My name is Peter. They got a basilica named after me back in Rome, <laughs> which is ironic, because back in the day, if you even mentioned the word Rome in my presence, more than likely, <laughs> I'd beat you with my stick. I even had a standing rule on my fishing boat that was strictly enforced. Talk about Rome, and your ass can swim home alone. I had to have that rule laid down kind of strong, because my brother Drew and his friends, they like to waste their time talking about overthrowing Rome and the coming of the Messiah instead of focusing on the task at hand. I'd say, listen, fellas, unless your Messiah is going to come down right now and help us catch some fish, you need to be putting your undivided attention into those goddamn nets. One day, Drew doesn't turn up for work. And he comes running up to me as I'm putting the boat back at the end of the day. And he says, dude, this is Jesus. He's the Messiah. I don't want to fish no more. I'm going to follow him. And this Jesus, who looked about as much like a Messiah as I looked like a ballerina in a tutu. He comes up to me and he says, catch any fish today? And I says, no, I did not catch any fish today. And he says, get back in your boat and you're going to catch some fish. So I got back in the boat and I rowed me and Jesus out to sea, intending to throw his ass overboard. And then he looks at me and he says, cast your nets wide and deep. So I did. I see the sign. Yeah. I see the sign. Yeah. I see the sign. Yeah. Hey, Lord, time now. This sign of the judgment. Yeah. This sign of the judgment. Yeah. This sign of the judgment. Yeah. Hey, Lord, time going now. in the fig tree. Yeah. in the fig tree. Yeah. in the fig tree. Yeah. Hey, Lord, time going now. Loose horse in the valley. Yeah. Loose horse in the valley. Yeah. 